So this is what the inside of your transmission looks like. So here is your input shaft. Power from the motor. Turns the gears. And we saw those shifting forks go inside and actually slide the slide and clutch into different gears. So you have the three sliding into different gears. Those three positions there. And that is how you select a different position in the transmission. The back side, the rear box, is your range, high and low range. So if we select different gears with the sliding clutch, then the power flow out the back will spin at a different rate of speed. So this is how the gears work inside a Eaton Fuller 13 speed transmission. So If it doesn't go into gear, your RPMs aren't the right speed, you will be forcing the shift fork to force the gear into synchronization, which will grind the teeth against one another, because at all times the transmission is spinning. And so if the gears don't match, at the time they are switched, it will grind. This is why double clutching is most important. See now all three sliding clutches are neutral. There's no power flow out the back. No power flow out the back. As soon as I Slide one of these into place. There. Now I start turning, and there's power flow on the back. So essentially, that's how you select your gears. This is why it's important to use double clutching and not forcing the transmission into synchronization.